Welcome to another team, Solomon Strikes Live Duel. Today on the low, we have myself, personally, we're playing uh, Tier Elements, one of our first days of playing Tier. We did take it to a big tournament. This is a case tournament. Um, so we're going to play Tier, and on the top side, we are playing against Shinobirds. As you guys can see on the screen right now, uh, most of you guys are not subscribed, so if you don't mind, you know, dropping a like and hitting that subscribe button, and grip helps the channel a lot, and, you know, we did hit that one case. So we're doing a big giveaway on the 28th, and I hope you guys uh, enjoy. So we're going to shuffle up here. Now we are playing with some nice new dragon shields. Uh, Glacier dragon shields. They're du dual mats. I really like them a lot. Um, we are playing against Shino Birds. In case you guys don't know what those are, those are spirit monsters that return themselves to the hand during the end phase. And they summon out tokens and they're ritual monsters. So they're ritual spirit monsters. Very, very interesting. Um, I know they're president for playing a mono Awada, but other than that, I don't really know. So we see a 7, and then we see a 10. And so here, we're going to get to go first here, I think. So we see we have Shiren and Merle in hand. So really, really good cards here. I think it's also a... Uh, we're going to start off with the Shiren, special summoning itself. And, uh, and then we have to explain what the cards do. So he's like, yep, that's fine. So we're sending the Medora. You know, very, very good card. Then we get the Mill 3 here. We hit a Orange Light, a Rhino Heart, and a Kelbeck. Or Keldo, not Kelbeck. So we have two Shufflebacks already. Very, very good. We're going to activate the effect of Rhino here. To summon itself out by then dumping one from hand. We're gonna dump the Merle. So we're gonna go after the effect of the Rhino Heart on the field as well as the Merle in the grave. We're gonna fuse the Merle and the Shiren to go into a most likely a Kikalos. We're gonna activate the effect here. So we chose not to use the Rhino effect. That's definitely a misplay there. And here we're going to add the Merle for that, you know, tag out. You know, after the kit effect, you know, summon the Merle, then mill eight. We do hit a Kelbeck. And here we have to choose to decide if we want to activate the Kelbeck, you know, making him mill some cards as well. I'm going to place some counters or some dice there, you know, saying what effect we used. So here, Kelbeck's going to be milling five. And I believe the effect of halfness by looking at it has resolved as well. So we do see a call by the grave and a mono awada, a lightning storm, which is why he's opting to go second. And a Shino Bird card. So here we're shuffling stuff back, something out, most likely a Rukulos. I don't think he's playing Super Poly. He very well could be, you know, seeing a lightning storm like that, you know. You could be assumed, and then we're gonna see Scream going to resolve, adding back the Salik. Or there is none, so I cannot activate the effect. Here we're going to shuffle back uh, the Halfness and the Shiren to make, um, and we're here to trap here, we're here to crime off that uh, that spell. We're going to summon out the Garula here. And I see a Merle and a Guru on the field. You know what that means? The best monster of 2022, Sprite Elf. Oh, here we actually summoned out the Kit mistakenly. Um, because Kit is a legal target, we're allowed to make it. So we end up uh, having to be stuck with it, unfortunately. And you got to pay attention. They look the same. So we summoned out a Sprite Elf.
then you know we're gonna get the Garula draw. We do have a Herald Engrave. So you're able to summon it out, activate the effect. Sending a uh, one of our monsters, we're gonna send an Agito here. And then you're making it level six. And here we're going to get each player to mill five, mostly just to see, you know, make him hit more of his deck. If we can see more of the stuff in his deck, it's very beneficial because, you know, we're not most likely losing here. As long as we get a shuffler, we're probably fine. Shino Birds are a very, very slow deck. And we're going to be setting up a, a Baron Negate, a Elf Mill 3, and then we also have a Crime in hand as well, so we can't forget about that. As well as Shufflebacks. I know one of his cards adds back the spell from Graveyard, so... Here we activate Keldo. We're going to target a whole bunch of uh, tier names. And shuffling them back into the deck, you know, you want to... Uh, you want to have it so that, you know, you are going to be able to hit off that Reborn of the Merly there. We're going to see a set, wonder which crime it is. And we're going to see Dimension Shifter. Something with that Magnemite, so we have another... Uh, Another copy here during the end phase there, which is going to be the Druze Worm. Because Druze Worm is such a better monster. And we like the deck then, so. Here we're going to see a Lightning Storm being activated. And we're going to choose to bear and negate it. We'd like to keep our monsters on the field. Here just reading Magnumut or Pizza Hut as my good buddy Alex calls it. Shout out to you. Magnumut is an insane card. Here he's going to activate the effect of Chalice Slime. And no, this is not the Chalice Slime Monthly. This is no MBT channel. And here he's just explaining what, the, what it does. Pretty crazy monster. The uh, Talisman, uh, whatever they're called, are pretty cool. She's going to activate the effect, targeting one of the monsters. We're going to activate Medora here. And this is what I mean. Like, it's good against the Havens, these kind of stuff, because you can just shuffle back their targets there. So here, the book is going to target a card, and we're going to shuffle that card back. Whereas to the effect of the Baron, or the effect of the Talus Mandrake, actually revealing the, uh, the Peacock. And then we get to think here, are we, are we choosing to negate this? We're not, so it's going to summon itself out, and then it's going to be able to search for the, the, uh, the spell, I believe. Oh, that's the Ritual Summon. Oh, so it's summoned another monster, okay, so here we're walling up. Then it looks like he's going to activate the effect here to uh, attempt to search for the ritual spell. 
with one card left in hand, which I know is going to be the is a thing. I'm going to pitch the happiness, and happiness is going to be able to activate the effect. You know, we can actually shuffle back. It, yeah, it can really make Mud Dragon if we wanted to. I was thinking we could always make that Rukalos if we wanted, but that works as well. And it looks like he does have that Ritual Spell in hand. So we're going to activate the effect. And we are almost out of negates. He can go for the Baron here. I believe it's Peacock Baron. He's reading the crime. The cool thing about the Shino birds, they return to the hand. And here we're going to be able to target it with the, the Predator Plant. And he's going to chain the Cerevis to negate that, uh, negate that target. Here we're just reading what the card does. Because it like can attack and then it just does stuff. It's weird. Bounces back and then summons out two tokens. They're both 15-15, I believe. So not very strong, but you know, still very good. Here he's gonna attempt to enter battle phase. We're gonna chain the elf, stay in main phase one. Um, something with that Merly, the Merly effect's going to be able to activate. Oh, then it gets spin, my bad. It spins, so we target the uh the we activate the effect of elf so you're going to see three monsters being shuffled back not targeting very very good you know he does put the elf back into our hand so that we unfortunately uh are able to use it next turn though they're going to see two tokens being summoned during the end phase here and uh, we're going to act with the Drew Swarm. Going for the uh, Chalice Lime, summoning itself out. And then we're also going to hit the uh, the Cerevis with a Magnemut. Which is why we act with the Magnemut, because you have one another one in hand. Makes sense to me. And here he's just going to uh, scoop it up. Knowing that we have way too much advantage, we can just beat over it. We have so many bodies on the field. And we have our tier monsters in hand. Shino Birds are an unfortunate deck. Uh, you know, I personally really like Rituals. I like how they look. I like their idea behind it. But the problem is, they're just not strong enough. We did see with Fusions, though. They uh, they did make it. It's like the Fusion cards, Fusions from the deck. Maybe that's what Rituals need. They needed, like, a Ritual spell card that activates that uh, Ritual summons from the deck using material from the deck or something. I don't, I don't know. I feel like that would be very, very strong. A lot of the ritual monsters don't lock you in anything. Like Drytron tried doing the rituals the right way, but like attack and stuff like that, and it made sense. Um, but it's just like, unfortunately, Drytron is Drytron, right? That they get, they had to lock themselves very easily into like the stuff like that because they would end up being just OP, like not being able to attack or stuff like that. Just being very, very strong for monsters that can't be normal summoned. So here we're just, uh, you guys can see the tripod legs, actually. That's kind of funny for that. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, but uh, but what do, you, what do you think rituals need to get better in the game? Do you think they need, like, a sort of new fusion effects or stuff like that? I want to hear what you guys think. And here we're going to see him going first this time. Going to set one card and activate preparation of rights or pre prep. One of the rights cards searches for something.
Here he's going to search for Serevis. Another beautiful card. That card's actually beautiful. And activating a second one. These cards are not once per turn. Getting the Chalice Slime here. Another crazy card. There's like three effects, I think. I'm not too sure why he set that card first, but he has three cards in hand, and all three of them are ritual monsters, I think. Four, maybe there's four cards in hand. So here we see a Kelbak and Herald. That's a really good card. Combo. And a Shire, and we're going to activate Shire in here. Sending the Kelbak. You're going to be able to activate the effect. And then we're going to activate Kelbak effect as well. And here we get to both mill five after I search with Salik. You want to be searching the, uh, looks like the Rhino Heart. Here he gets to cut. And we get to Miller 5. We got Super Poly, Instant Fusion, Super Poly, Herald, and a Ghost Bell. You know, not the greatest cards, but... We decided in Ghost Bell versus the deck because a lot of the cards add from, add from Graveyard back to hand. So, uh... We see a DD, DDG there, Different Dimension Grounds. So I'm thinking that that's not what that card is, because he would have activated it at the start of the turn. We normal summon the Rhino Heart, and then we're able to send the Halfness. Halfness effect is going to be able to activate, but he's going to chain the D-Barrier. Calling fusions here. Very, very good. You can't fusion summon if you can't fusion. So luckily for us, we do have some XYZs. I think that we stopped playing Zeus here, though. Now we gotta find a way to get uh another monster on the field. If we would have normal summoned the Merly instead, um we would have uh you know been able to actually play. We did see uh I'm gonna just go into battle phase and attack. Uh you guys saw me clapping there, you know. That was a very, very good uh good thing. I was definitely outplayed. I think that normal summon the Rhino Heart's probably correct, but we're going to see our good old friend Baguska. And just passing here. Here he's going to say, no, you got it. He has nothing. And we're, he's going to scoop it up there. Um, you know, even though, you know, that's just the power of the of the tier cards. They're just so, so good. Um, you guys see there and uh, show him what he wish he could have summoned. But fortunately, he did not. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And well, we'll see you in the next one.